Hi everyone, Gustav Gasprin here. Uh, we have a very special guest today, Dr. Mike Pajkarski. We are at Dynamics MMA. Dr. Mike is a uh, doctor in physical therapy, also a brown belt in jiu-jitsu and former MMA fighter. We are doing a video series talking about leg locks and how they, how safe or how dangerous they are, okay? How they affect the structures in our legs, the bones, the ligaments and the tendons, okay? Today, the first video is gonna be about the straight ankle lock and a variation which is called the Achilles tendon compression, okay? In the next videos, we're gonna talk about toe hold, knee bar, knee ripping, and heel hooks, okay? So make sure you guys watch the whole series. What you think, Dr. Mike? It's important for students to practice leg locks or you think it's dangerous? Or what's the most important uh, aspect of the leg lock game for you in terms of prevention or safety? I think with all submissions, uh, all submissions have some danger, but as long as you understand the submission and know when you're in danger, they can be trained properly. So uh, today we're going to go over the straight ankle lock, which is the, the safest of the leg locks. But in general, all of them, as long as you understand when you're in danger, when you're not, and you don't respond uh, in a foolish manner and try to twist out, you, you, it's safe. So there you go, Dr. Mike. How? Uh, how the straight ankle lock works first. First I'm going to demonstrate the straight ankle lock. So how this submission works is I'm attacking the ankle joint, specifically the towel cruel joint. The ankle is composed of many joints. So the towel cruel joint is the first joint of the ankle, which is where the talus meets the mortise. The mortise is the combination of your shin, your tibia, and your fibula. This joint has one degree of motion, meaning it can only go up and down, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. With a straight ankle lock, I want to take the joint to its end range plantar flexion. However, you may have rolled with someone with flexible feet. It's not just about getting the structure to its end range, because at this point, there's several things that are stopping it from going further. You have your anterior talofibular ligament, you have your deltoid ligament, you have the joint capsule, and you have the muscle and the tendons themselves. So I can stretch his foot. It may not be comfortable, but he's going to be okay. What makes this submission work is when I take the joint to its end range plantar flexion, the talus, so the ankle bone, uh, has a very weak connection with the mortise. So at this point, it's the most unstable. So if I introduce an anterior force like this, or when I'm in the position, when I introduce my hips, engage my hips, what I'm doing is I'm going to dislocate the, the ankle at this point. Premise from Kelly Cherry. I know you can relax and look at the leg break. That's good. That can, uh, can damage my ankle joint, correct? Correct. What's the difference between, because sometimes a lot of people, they tap because they're feeling pain instead of, they're feeling pain on the Achilles tendon instead of feeling that the joint is dislocating. What's the difference? So that's a different variation to the ankle lock. So the first one, as Gustavo said, uh, attacks the ankle joint. If, if I want to attack the Achilles tendon, I can take this bone, which is the styloid process of my radius, or it's, it's a forearm bone. I'm going to put it right at the base of his Achilles tendon. And my form is now acting as the fulcrum. So when I apply pressure, I'm driving this bone into the tendon. So the reason why this submission is going to be more painful than the other one is because I'm primarily attacking the Achilles tendon, which is a muscular tendon structure, which has more receptors than the ligaments and the joint capsule in the ankle. So let's say if you, if you attack my Achilles tendon and I'm just a tough guy and not tapping because of pain, right? Eventually that could turn into an ankle dislocation. Is that possible? If you, you have to adjust your grip, but yes, if, if first it attacks the Achilles tendon, then you can adjust the grip to make sure that you're locked on the ankle joint so that you can input that interior force and dislocate the joint. All right, guys. Thank you very much, Dr. Mike. That's our first video of the series. Next video, we're going to talk about the toe hold. Make sure you guys watch it.